Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last night I made a video on how to create this. Then I thought, well, I'm going to add the longitude and latitude lines. And there's a lot of videos on the internet showing how to do this, but they're using uh, a method that's maybe a little more difficult than it needs to be. They're taking a globe. And then they're making rings like this and progressively moving them down. And you can do that, but I found it's a little quicker way to do it this way. Would be to just take your straight point line, your two point line, and hold down your control button and make a perfectly straight line going up and down. Let's go ahead and change this to a half a point and make it black. Then I'm going to set my nudge factor on point three. So let's move this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to make control D, make a duplicate. I'm going to arrow key over one time, making a point zero three over. Then I'm going to change it to point zero two seven five. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to make a duplicate. Point two seven five make a duplicate and move it over and what it's doing is progressively getting smaller and you'll see at the end result we're going to change this one to point two five and make a duplicate we'll make this one point two two five and what i'm doing i'm progressively making them smaller distance between them we'll make this one point two and so on We'll make one more. Let's make it 0.175. Now you've got them. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And if you'll select them all and make a duplicate, Control D, and then just hold down your Control button, and you've done that. Now Control D again, and let's move these at 90 degrees. And you pretty much already got it done. Now bring in a, a globe. Hold down your control button so that it's equal. Let's go ahead and make it black so it won't interfere in a minute. I draw everything in the red hairline. Now let's put this to the center. And you pretty, want, pretty much want to use all your lines. And it doesn't really matter what size you make it. As I'm going to show you in a minute. We're pretty much, we could go a little bit more, kind of get it in the center. Then go back to effects, lens, fish eye, frozen, apply. Now you've got your, kind of like your longitude and latitude lines. Now make this five inches, the same as your other map. Put P on the keyboard, put it in the center of the page. Collect that, select that, and then go to effects or go to arrange order, put in front of page. And there you have it. You could play around with this, maybe add some more lines. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.